one monsoon night a terrified young woman so near yogita bali gets down from a taxi and runs towards the railway station in dinapur asking for a ticket to bombay however she is not able to catch the said train on time as the station master takes time to give her the railway ticket to bombay she does not have any place to go and decides to wait at the station for the next train the following morning she is carrying an attache case containing jewelry worth lakhs she deposits it to rohit which he safely locks in his safe uddharan since rohit feels it is not safe for her to wait at the platform he offers to drop her at his quarters nearby and she readily agrees to it uddharan it is obvious that she is fleeing from someone and rohit feels she must have stolen the jewelry but she denies the accusation she tells him that she inherited them from her mother but there are goons behind her because of it and she is escaping from them he buys the story and assured that she is safe and comfortable there he goes back to the station uddharan sitting on his chair in his office he goes back in time and lives in flashback for a while thinking about how he first came across rashmi zinat aman uddharan he is riding a motorcycle on his way to his uncle's asit sain house for his cousin's wedding on the road he sees a car ahead of him and they have a race after a while rashmi's car runs out of petrol attempting to help her and also not wanting to lose an opportunity of spending some time with a lovely dame he empties all the petrol from his motorcycle into rahmi's car and decides to travel along in her car but before he can get in she drives off with no petrol he gets stuck and finally manages to get a lift in a lorry they meet a couple of times during his stay there and they fall in love uddharan chen her father diwan sardari lal hari shivdasani is looking for an assistant for moti babu prem chopra her brother in law who has been looking after the business now and diwan feels moti babu is overburdened with work and responsibilities rashmi presents rohit to diwan and he agrees to hire him Rashmi has a hunch that Moti Babu is not as honest as he appears to be and tells Rohit about it. Rohit immediately begins auditing the records and discovers that the entries are not correct and a huge sum of money has been missing. Uddharan Moti Babu scared that the truth will come out plots against Rohit since Rashmi is so fond of him. The best way to get Rohit out of his way would be to somehow make her dislike him. As a part of the plan, they have a celebration with much bhang followed by a dance, Satra Baraski. And with the help of Bahadur and Bijli he manages to prove that Rohit tried to rape Bijli and has cheated on Rashmi. As per Panchayat S decision, a punishment He is thrashed in front of the villagers and asked to leave the place immediately. Uddharan Moti Babu is celebrating his victory with Bahadur and Bijli. Rashmi happens to witness this and is disgusted. Much against wishes of Diwan and Moti Babu, she leaves the house and runs away with Rohit singing, "Hum dono do premi." They go to Bombay and get married in a temple. Uddharan Two men show up at his office and they wake him up from his reverie. They introduce themselves as Inspector Tiwari and Inspector Sinha and inquire about a girl within. Atashe Sonia. They tell him that she has stolen some valuables and has run away. And they are investigating the case. Though suspicious, Rohit does not reveal her whereabouts. He goes to his quarters and confronts her. but she tells him she has not stolen anything and gives him her mother's letter after reading it he is convinced that she is innocent uddharan chen he comes back to his office it is raining very heavily outside standing by the window he stares out and gets into a flashback mode again this time the newly wed rashmi and rohit are singing bhigi bhigi raaton mein in the rain uddharan 
brought up the way she was. Rashmi does not know much of household work. She has a tough time trying to learn how to cook. They get acquainted with Chetan Kumar, Asrani, who lives in the floor below and become friends with him. He also helps her develop her culinary skills. Uddharan, Rohit works for Bombay Publicity, an ad agency and Rashmi. On the other hand gets bored sitting at home the whole day with nothing to do. Since she has a good knowledge of colors she starts painting. Inspired by Chetan. And wants to gift the painting to Rohit on his birthday. One fine day Chetan suggests her to start modeling. Having seen how his boss. M. M. Puri. Madan Puri. Deals with models. Rohit is not happy about how the modeling world works. Uddharan. But Rashmi. With a wealthy background is not used to live the way she is living and does not like compromising. For every little thing. And she remains adamant about her decision until Rohit gives in. Indifference creeps in but Rohit is understanding and does all he can to keep Rashmi happy. Though his ego keeps coming in between. Sounds contradicting. In no time she becomes a top model and even goes on to win a beauty pageant. She becomes thrilled with the idea that now within a short span of time. Name and fame would knock her doors. Uddharan. Soon after this. She realizes she is expecting. She wants to pursue her career and thinks it is not the right time to start a family and even. Thinks of going for an abortion. But Rohit wants the child. So she decides to keep it. One day Rohit calls and when she goes down to Chetan's flat to answer the call. She slips and falls down the staircase. This results in a miscarriage. But Rohit feels she got an abortion done and gets mad at her. This is due to an incident at his office. They have a row and he walks out of the house. Having realized that he overreacted. He comes back home in the evening and apologizes but only after a while he finds out that Rashmi has left the house and gone. He later on learns from Chetan that she had fallen down and had a miscarriage. He calls her but she does not speak to him. He resigns from Bombay publicity and he sets out to bring her back. He goes to Diwan's house but learns that they have left the place and gone on a vacation. No one knows when they'll come back. Devastated. He goes to his uncle's house. There's a letter for him there. A legal notice asking for a divorce. Not knowing what to do next. He seeks employment and with the help of Mr. Saxena. Mama's friend. He gets the post of a station master at a remote hill station. Dinapur. Back to present. He is at work and Mr. Saxena comes to meet him. He is surprised to see Mr. Saxena at such a remote place. To this, Mr. Saxena says he had come hunting with Divan Sardarilal, who has put up at a place named Karinganj. Nearby, he leaves for Karinganj to meet Rashmi. Rashmi seeing him does not seem to be happy. Rohit on the other hand tries wooing her back and further requests her to join his new residence. That he got as a railway employee. Meanwhile, Rashmi's father enters the scene and instructs Rashmi to get away from there. He and Moti Babu tries every possible way to humiliate Rohit due to his low socioeconomic condition. Rohit further remaining confident vows before Moti Babu to bring in money in order to get Rashmi. Back. Back at present. Rohit realizes he needs to arrange in money in order to bring back his estranged wife back. However, he is devastated to realize that he has no such money on his own but only the jewelry worth 5 lakhs in his office's locker belonging to the young lady who took refuge in his quarter. He further decides to open the locker and steal away the attache by strangling the lady to death. However, he comes back to his actual senses and realizes he was about to commit a heinous crime under Thay. Pretext of bringing his wife back. Uddharan Chin. Meanwhile, fate decided to play another ruthless game on Rohit. The very next moment he finds himself arrested for the real murder of the lady which he 
in actuality, never committed. But Rashmi says in court that she saw the real murderer Sinha and Tiwari. Rohit is proven innocent and reunited with Rashmi.